Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, our Bob. humble opinion. Today we're going to talk about science reveals surprising information on shoulder pain slash impingement. Very good, Bob. <laughs> Carry on. Is that fine? Uh, by the way, you know, this kind of reminds me, do you remember when Rodney Dangerfield in Caddyshack oh. he hurt his arm? He goes, oh, my arm's hurt, my arm's hurt. Anyway, yeah. I don't know what made me think of that. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take uh, a second yeah. to subscribe to us. We're going to provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, yes, I've been promising this for a while. You want to go over to Bob and Brad on Facebook because we're going to be doing a giveaway a week. Right. Uh, coming up real soon. Big giveaways. Yeah, actually, the one is big. Yeah, really it big. Is. Yeah. So, Brad, you're going to take it away today. You're going to talk about some tests that you do on your shoulders. Right. Well, shoulder pain, big problem. You know, it's, it's huge problem. Not as big as back problems, but it, there's a lot of shoulder pain out there. And we know that studies have shown a vast majority of shoulder pain is from impingement. Yes. Okay. Very common. Hurts when you reach over your head. Oftentimes, impingement. Uh, and as therapists, uh, one of my, three of my common tests that I use are the Hawkins Kennedy, the near, okay, and the empty can test. You know, if you're not, if you're not a therapist, you may not be familiar with these, but if you are, it's like, yeah, you learned those in school. I've been using them for years, and then I read this study, and I thought, well, I want to make sure yeah, what I'm doing it is accurate. You know, so I read this study. Uh, it was done in 2012 by the Archives of Physical Medicine Rehab, which is our main journal, right. by the way. So mm -hmm. this is a very uh, uh, peer-reviewed journal, right. so I mean it's 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 up to date and right. it's it's it, it's legitimate. It is. Yeah, we get some people that say, "Well, what was that?" It's volume ninety-three, February two thousand twelve. It, they looked at initially over thirteen hundred uh, articles on shoulders, and they narrowed it down to sixteen to get the best information they could to find out what what we're going to do. That from meta meta-analysis, right? There that, you right. go. So. I'm going to make a long story short. They found out that the Hawkins Kennedy, which here have, yeah, have a let's, seat right here. Let's go these. We're going to show these tests here. Yeah. The Hawkins Kennedy, where the, you bring the arm out here, 90 degree bend in the elbow, and you rotate it down. If that creates pain here, it's a positive sign that you may yeah, have impingement. You may have impingement. Okay? The next one is the near. Now, the way they did it in the study, they just said raise the arm up as high as you can. Go ahead, Bob. And when it gets up to the top of it, it's painful. I know when I do this in the clinic, I la add a little overpressure sure. to the responses. Uh, they didn't do that in the study. And then the empty can test, where you pretend you have a can and you're going to dump out the contents. And it's at this gap, angular of scaption there. There we go. And if we can, if you push down there and it's weak, that was their positive sign. Sure. Uh, a lot of times, if you have a serious uh, problem, it's hard to even raise the arm right. up at all. Right, you get it up, right. So if all three of those are positive, in my mind, I'm thinking there's a really good chance that there's an impingement problem right here. But in the study, it says, no, it's not a strong indicator. However, one thing I did like, if all three of these any pain, Bob? Say no. 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 And if I do this, no pain, mm -hmm. empty can test, and he pat hurts, those are all negative. That means it's a very strong indicator that you do not have impingement. So wow. we do have some, the study so, uh, gave some good information on those three tests, but not what I expected. So if all three are positive, it's not saying that it's impingement. You're having a shoulder problem, but right. we don't know what it is. Right. We, but if all three are negative, you probably don't have impingement. Right. So one thing, a little confusing. Right. It is. It's a little yeah. backwards. But it, the whole thing was surprising. One thing that you can do is if you have shoulder pain, do the three tests, mark them down whether they're positive or negative, painful or not, and then do our exercises, and then come back in a week and repeat the same tests and see if they're improved. Right. So but also if, the, if you know they're negative. Um, you probably don't have an impingement, but you still can do the exercises because a lot of these exercises are universal. They right. have a lot of shoulder problems. Right, exactly. So, do you want to go over the two that, are, again, are positive? Well, well, why don't we do that? Yeah, we got time. Two, it is amazing yeah. uh, because these are the two I didn't expect that would show impingement. Right. But according to these uh, meta-analysis, meta meta they said these are indicators, strong indicators of impingement. And the first one is the drop arm sign. 
So you just lift the arm up. No, this is the drop arm, so it's like it just. Oh, stops. I didn't get it. Oh, I thought you were going to push it. I was going to let go. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, because in some in some cases the person's able to get it up to here, and then you push it, and it just drops. Right. 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 In other cases, they can't even get get an arm up right. at all. Actually, so. and that's what I do. I'll have them less. You probably right. do that too, and add some pressure. Right. In this study, I believe they just. You just had him do it that way. Without the pressure. So what we're saying here is if you try to lift your arm, you can't even lift it up. That's a positive drop arm. Right. And that means you may have impingement. That's a stronger sign. Right. Now, if that one's positive, I want you to stand up, Bob, and then do the, the lift off. You're going to take the palm of your hand, and, and they, they, what they want to do right on the buttocks there they did, and then lift it off. Let's go this way so they can see they can that. see this, the angle, yeah. Yep. So you get this distance here, and this is for the subscapularis muscle, which is one of the rotator cuff muscles. I'm gonna push here, okay, and if that produces pain or you can easily push it in with associated pain, then it's positive. If that's positive and the um, drop arm, arm is positive. positive, then it's a very strong indicator impingement. Right. Right. So I hope we totally confused you. I, mean, I think we tried to, but uh, it actually, if you, if you follow it and watch it again and again, it'll eventually make sense to you. There you go. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and that's, you know, when it comes to science to the shoulder and these tests before the MRI or, you know, if an MRI is needed, it all comes in together. That's why this is, uh, it's not always easy it's to It's not clear cut. It's not <laughs> cookie cutter. Uh, right. And that's why even when we recommend exercises, a lot of times, well, you do. You try one, and you see if it helps. Right. And when it helps, hey, keep go, keep doing that one. For, exactly. Uh, and that's why we'll often give you a you know a, a bevy of exercises, right. like ten of them or something right. like that. And you can pick which ones you like. There you go. So, I wonder if you could do that about with women. No, you can. Bob, marry, you're married like ten women. You're starting. You're starting you like. to go on some pretty thin ice right <laughs> now. Um, we, we better. I'm all the way through the ice. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>